Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Ready to Rumble Boxing. The game was originally released on the Sega Dreamcast, with versions also available on the PlayStation, N64, and Game Boy Color. Crikey, remember that one? Ready to Rumble Boxing is an arcade boxing game developed by Midway Studios San Diego. Okay, gameplay. Well, in terms of controls, it's pretty basic stuff. You can do all manner of punches from hooks, jabs, body shots, or very satisfying uppercuts. You can swing, sway, and block too, but most fights end up with both boxers just exchanging a flurry of punches akin to a Rocky movie. Every time you land a clean shot, you're awarded a letter. Once you get enough to spell out Rumble, you can enter a supercharged mode, which can turn the tide in the close title fights. <laughs> You have to manage your health and stamina, and all in all, it's pretty immediate stuff without having too much faffing around, it's all action, it's good fun, mostly. In terms of presentation, the game features Michael Buffer who delivers his world-renowned introductions, and this absolutely does add a sense of drama to the bout. And gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get ready to rumble! The Razor Sharp Butcher Brown! Only a fool get in the ring with me! You can't possibly beat me! What about the roster of fighters? Well, there are no real boxers here. Instead, you could choose from a bunch of over-the-top characters. Butcher Brown is a kind of Mike Tyson-esque bruiser with no neck. Afro Thunder is a cocky speedster who dips in and out with his speed and agility. Raging Rivera is a Mexican all-rounder. Rocket Samche adds a Muay Thai style. And my personal favorite, Big Willie Johnson, who adopts the traditional Queensbury rules and also looks like he came out of Oliver Twist, old chap. Let me show you something. As fights unfold, you'll notice facial damage, but I'd say the fights rarely last long enough for this to even really be relevant. So, you know, it's definitely a game for the knockout merchants out there. Now, game modes, you've got arcade and you've got championship and that's it. Arcade is akin to the old Street Fighter games, one fight after another, you fight 10 people, 10th fight, is for the title. Championship mode offers more depth. You've got prize fights, you've got training elements, you've got title bouts, and you have to earn money in order to enter the title bout. So you've got to do prize fights to pay for the training and pay for the title. Now the training elements, some of them are good, some of them are bad. You know, like weightlifting was fun and there was like the speed bag I think was all right. And then the heavy bag is so pain, like some of them you just don't want to do. So the training is a bit up and down. Graphically, it's bright, it's colourful, it's over the top, and the unique boxes do really make the game. Sound-wise, good music that suits the genre, excellent presentation from Buffer, and witty lines of dialogue from the boxer roster. Um, hell, raging Rivera! Rumble, Holmes! Okay, good and bad points. What's good? Michael Buffer adds a sense of authenticity, the boxer roster are a fun bunch, fights are fast paced and frenetic, and the championship mode offers a little bit of replay value. Bad points, there's limited game modes. The fights don't have a lot of tactical depth, although there is a little bit here and there. There's no boxer creator, that could have been really good fun. And it doesn't have like long-term game modes, it's more like an arcade machine type game. Okay, verdict, Ready to Rumble Boxing is a fun arcade boxing game that doesn't offer too much in terms of depth, but what it lacks in depth, it makes up for in pure entertainment and silliness and fun. The character roster, there are these caricatures, funny punchlines, presented well, Michael Buffer does his job. So it's a good game, it's not the best boxing game in the arcade boxing genre, that will always be punch out, but it's probably the second best, and you know what? At first I thought it was a bit limited playing it again and then yesterday I'd wrote this review I put 7 out of 10 and now I would change the 7 to an 8 because yesterday I played it for hours I was just rinsing through the arcade mode and I just fell in love with it again it's really simplistic really fun over the top it's great if you've got a friend to play with locally have a good old punch up you know who doesn't like punching their friends in the face ready to rumble gets an 8 out of 10 really good fun Shame it's not out on more systems, but there you go. This is PG signing off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.